This is example 477 from the textbook of mechanical vibration from Graham. Here we will use the transfer function to find the properties of the response to a step function. As you recall from the theory, the transfer function is only dependent on the characteristics of the system and is defined as 1 over m s squared plus c s plus k. If we divide everything by m, we get that this is equals to 1 over s squared plus c over m s plus k. Yeah. And that's equals to a square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n squared. And remember that this transfer function is equals to the transfer of the response divided by the transfer of the external forces, which is in this case will be a step function. The natural frequency is, is, is square root of k over m, and as you see, is the last term of the transfer function given, which will be then square root of 121, which is 11 radians over second. To find zeta, we use the middle term, which is 2 zeta omega n, and that's equals to 17.6. And I solve for zeta, which will be 17.6 divided by 2 omega n that I just found, and then I have that zeta is equal to 0 0.8. And this is an underdamped system, but the damping is very high. And we will notice that in the response. The peak time is defined as pi over omega d. And omega d is defined as omega n square root of 1 minus zeta squared. We plug in the values and get that the peak time is 0 0.476 seconds. We want to calculate also the percentage of overshoot, so that means how much does the response go beyond one. Remember that that response will settle at one. Being one, the response over the static deflection produced by our step function. And that overshoot in percentage is defined as 100 exponential to the negative pi zeta over square root of 1 minus zeta square. And I plug in the values and get that the percentage of overshoot is 1.5164%. So it's, the overshoot is very small for that great amount of damping. Then we have the settled time which means that the response becomes 0.98% or from 1. So that will be equals to 4 over set omega n and is 0 0.4545. And the rise time is the time where the response reaches 90% of the response. And it's this equation right here that you have in your theory slides. And if we plug all these values, pi plus 3.1459, the tangent of zeta over square root of say, 1 minus zeta squared, all that divided by omega d. Which is 0.6. And the rise time is equal to 0 0.3355 seconds. I like to plot this response, and as we already commented, that the value for the overshoot is very small. So here we have the 50% of the response, and then we have the peak time where the overshoot pours, and that's at 0 0.476 seconds, and then we have the settling time, which is 0 0.5, 45, 45 seconds. We have the overshoot, which as I said, is 1.51%, which is very small respect to the steady state response.